first of all, you're going to have an amazing time. We're here to really bring community together around this event and really journey with each other, talk to each other, just have an amazing experience that we can take with us in our hearts and take out into the larger community. So I'd like to begin by introducing Eric Gonzalez, Mayan shaman, who is here to do the opening ceremony. Enjoy. Thank you. Um, they told us that um, we were going to start at 10, but we've been waiting, so thank you for your patience. At least they tell us that we can come up and we have a little moment, so, but at first, you know, we wanted to say uh, greetings to all my relations here. It's a, it's a good thing to see, you know, what the efforts in this North America is being done, you know. For a lot of thousands of years, our people, they say we've been maintaining the sacred fire because we were preparing for these changes that we're living today. And what we do is uh, we put the emphasis always on our spirituality, the relationship to the elemento, the relationship to each other, to the setting that it needs to be in ceremony, like the fire is always there present for us, the water, you know and representation of our relations that we share this Mother Earth with. We call it the Mesa, Alach Mesa, Ish Mesa. Those are our altars. So today I only have a very few minutes because we're on a schedule, you know. But I wanted to say thank you to the coordinators here because it is at least an opportunity that starts to share uh, from our people, you know, the Maya. I'm from uh, the Cachiquel Maya Nation. I'm from Guatemala. I live in Santiago Atitlan, as well as I, I live up in northern of Shasta. And we travel around trying to share our, our, our calendrics and our visions and all of the inheritance that our elders have left us. So that's what we do. We do our ceremonies first, you know. And we never hurry up the prayer. We never hurry up the, the ceremonies because that's the key that is missing in the Western world. We can talk about all these calendrics and we can talk about these dates that are coming. But if we're not prepared, if we can't hear the Mother Nature talking, if we cannot listen to the, the movements and the rustling of our relatives all over the earth, they will miss it. And that's kind of where we, when we are given the opportunity to share in public like this, then we must sometimes we say we can't compromise our ceremonies. I'm talking just so that we can relax a little bit because we just can't come up and start praying, you know. We need to like really focus because there's too much at stake for our world, you know. Everything that we know as life is at stake. And if we don't hold to that sacredness, the relationship to Mother Earth, the sacredness to our families, the sacredness to our, our relationship with the Creator, then anything else, it won't really matter. And that's kind of what our people have been working so hard and maintaining, you know. We've been fighting wars and we've been kind of holding to our sacredness, you know, with great payment to our people, you know. Because we knew that this, these days will be coming like this. A time when we can share, a time when we can come together, and a time that we can heal ourselves, you know. That's where we start. When we go into the sweat lodge, we go into the temascales, we, we sit around the fires, we go into the mountains, we see what the beauty the Creator has given us as a gift. So that's kind of what we do, you know, first always, you know. Because we can uh, work the land, we can carve the wood, we can talk in microphones, we can use a laptop, you know. But the first thing for us is uh, the awakening into the spirit realm. Awakening into what this Stella, you know, uh, our totem poles of the Maya at Kiriwa and and other places have left written in stone for us to take note today, to take note of our future, to take note of our, what are we going to give inheritance to our children, you know. And so that's kind of what our people, the Maya and others, we've been working with this for 30 years of my own life. And then others, you know, been there for longer, you know. So we're just picking up the staffs, we call them the, the staffs, uh, to continue the, the ceremonies, continue that, that healing for Mother Earth and for us, you know. So I wanted to uh, 
they asked me to you know come and do this prayer and like I said we just have a few minutes so if you please everybody stand up we're going to uh, what we do always is recognize the place that we're at so we go to the we said the uh, seventh directions the seventh places so we can tune to the elementals the place where they are they're, they're have their houses, the house of the fire, house of the water, house of the air, house of earth, house of the spirit, the heart of heaven we call it, and the house of the heart, heartbeat of the mother earth. And then our heartbeat connects into the essence of all life. And that's kind of what we want to do this morning. And uh, as we look at here, we are surrounded by water and earth, you know. But there's something changing all around us that uh, they call it energy, they call it frequency. The Mayan calendar, like the, we call it Cholkich, and the Cholkich is the counting of the energy of passing of the eras. And we're coming into that era where we're talking about, I guess, the 2012 here. For us, is we call it Oshlachuch Baktun, the 13 Baktun, the place where the, uh, the stone stuck, the place where the, the spirit stuck. And so this is where we're heading, you know, and I pray today, this morning, sometimes we talk in our own language, you know. And so we pray that uh, that energy and the focus that we're all coming to be about is, is our human family, recognizing that we are part of the web of life, and we have a responsibility to that web of life, you know. So we dedicate our lives to this prayer, and so that's how we start, you know. And from there, we can just have fun, you know, enjoy, have a celebration. So in this... Our people are beginning in, uh, to show their celebration. We're sharing our fires and all these things that we've been keeping up for a long time. So this is a celebration for us. There's nothing to fear. The 2012 and the ending of the world, none of that. Our people, we know that we plant the seeds now. We're going to have, we're going to witness the sixth race being born. The people made out of honey. Like us here, we are made, people made out of corn. The fifth sun is having a sunset. It is good because we'll have a sixth sun, they say. So this sixth sun is what, you know, we're coming together to celebrate today. So if I'm more correct, because of the fog here, east is over here? Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's go to that way, otherwise we're all... To... Okay, we'll face the east, please. Sakarstatsakarsnan <laughs> Utska iske kuche kachalal riwachi kachuleu fahau. Katampe ni malek nagwala hao balam kitse kahi palumnya. Matyushisha we lukuluha pops ach puch ach kewek ach pashila kayala. Ach kech ach keshelo machkamal be ilol be rikaslem nagwala hao oslahuk baktun. Matyushisha we lukuluk nagwala hao utsri kiak be. Rikaslem bey, rinagwal bey, rimaya, mayab, mayib, tinamit, kahuleu, fakau. We'll go to the west. Matyushisha we, lukuluk nagwala hao, balamakap, chomia. Lukuluk hao, hunrakan, nim kakulha, rash kakulha, chipi kakulha. Lukuluk tepeo kukumats, kukulkan kumats in ketsalkot. Matyo shisha we lo koluk na wala kawak pops rikaslem ya rirukus ya rinagwal nanas rinagwal tatas matyo shisha we lo koluk akaw katit kamama. We go to the right up to the north. Lukaluk rukushka rukushilev Matyoshisha we lukaluk nagwala hao ik palam kakisha ya lukaluk sakbe sakchumilabach 
ri kaslem kah bai kah bei rinawal katit ka mama katampeni malekh rinim patan nahau nana ismu kane nana ispia kok nana iskik nani shel nan chak shel ri kaslem nawala khau sak ri kaslem chaya bah matios lo kolukh rukush ka rukush lev and we we'll go to the south all the way around this ni malakh na wa la khaw rukush ka rukush lew ni malakh na na lew rinim ka cho chu lew rinim ha yu lew lo kolu ka khaw ta na utsil utska iske ku he ka chalal ri wa chi ka chu lew fa khaw ta na utsil ni malakh na wa la khaw utsri ka cho chai ri na wal khai ri ak popip khai Matios lo kolukh na wala khao kan bay utsklak utsikaslem ring ko you bay rinim paloi bay rinim katit ka mama lo kolukh ha khao rukushka rukushulev and look at each other towards, towards the center just kind of make a circle where you are just looking in the center please Our family gathers this morning to remember, to hear the voices of our ancestors who looked at the stars, to heard the mother nature, to keep track of time for all humanity at this time. For we need your guidance, we need your strength and your endurance for us to act in a proper way to make the proper decisions for on behalf of all our relations creator we find ourselves in a troublesome world changing world we find ourselves with great challenges in our minds in our bodies and spirits but we know you left us instructions at this time we gather to hear those instructions grandfathers and grandmothers creator of all the heart of heaven heart of the earth for there's much at stake at this time and we pray at this time to unite ourselves to bring that which we need so that our seventh generation will flourish matyosha weni malaka kha hunap ku ometeot lokaluk rukush ka rukush lev we can go down and feel the earth To you, beautiful Mother Earth, as our children gather again to bring back that memory of us being the part of that web of life. Again, we seek to be in balance and harmony, to be in wholeness, to be in oneness with all our relations. We thank you for your changes and your great gifts that you continue to give us at this time. We pray that we may 
receive thy blessing to all our relations here, Creator, that we may walk, swim, fly across this Mother Earth to unite again and receive this great celebration of this change of this fifth sun so that our children will have the era of the golden era, receive the children made out of honey, the prophecy of Oshlahuch Baktun, the 2012, as we gather here today, Creator. At this time too, Creator, we call the seventh place within our hearts to unite with all the efforts, to unite our minds and our hearts. For we see and we hear the changes that are all around us. And we take action at this morning, this place, to give you thanks for the beautiful gift of life. Thank you.